it's Sunday. It's a boring day. I'm enjoying the last minutes of the sunset. I think I'm heading out. Suns are slack. They are low energy, at least for me. I find them... I just find them damn boring. So get the fuck out of the house. Breathe some fresh air. See people. You don't have to talk to them. Put some AirPods in. Bring your laptop, your tech stuff, a book or whatever. And find a coffee shop. since the last day Sephra came home from the trip to the United States and I mean I've been sleeping until 11 and 12 a few days now after I came home and I don't know why um, I feel there's something in the times right now it's like we're needing we're gonna need more sleep and it's taking its toll on our body and minds uh, it could be or that I'm just worn out by the you know jet lag and uh, a different time zone. So it's finally Monday, it's uh, December 3rd. It seems that my stay in the United States is over. Uh, I'm heading back to Boston Airport. It's been a good stay, really nice to get out of my daily habit at home, see some new people, meet um, again, get together and meet my Queen of Hearts. Been pretty productive, I think. Been pretty much productive with uh, most of all my days here. Getting some shit done. We spent days and hours on the Yellow Deli. It's been a fantastic place to sit down and do my work uh, with Marbella and uh, know uh, also the times when she has been uh, off to do her stuff. Wonderful atmosphere, the right table height, Wi-Fi, outlets for the computer, for the geeks, and uh, really good food and amazing staff. The Queen of Hearts here just promised me a fancy uh, gas station in the United States. What's it called? Cumberland? I just asked for a coffee and uh, here we are. Am I going to be amazed? Yes, you will. Looks like a giant supermarket. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which one is good? You have to pick your cup size first. Uh huh. This? No, that cup size. Okay. <laughs> I got I got fancy coffee, Guatemalan coffee. It's Guatemalan coffee. Guatemalan, I said. I'm sorry for everyone who's watching this video, but Marbella had no clue about coffee. <laughs> I don't need coffee. No. You need to grow out of coffee. Okay. in the morning it's early here in London I just came in from Boston and I'm fucking tired I did not get any sleep in the plane
Being Peace, fellow Earthling, tuning in from uh, Gardamon in Oslo, uh, our capital um, airport, close to our capital airport. Right now, hanging out at the uh, hotel room, going through my stuff, my camera stuff. Uh, I'm on a trip to um, to uh, up here to to work on a documentary film that I'm shooting uh, with a friend of mine, a uh, buddy of mine that runs his own family business. I talked in the last film about creating opportunities for yourself, and um, when I teach people my concept of self mastery, and in my concept of self mastery. Uh, which is uh, my main concept for the coaching and training I do and my message, uh, message out to the people. I talk about seeing new opportunities, uh, detached from the norms and creating new opportunities for yourself. I'm all about seeing new opportunities and understand more about who we are as human beings and our potential. And uh, too many people don't see that. Um, and uh, you know, if you don't see a potential, if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe that there are other methods than blindly following the system, uh, you will struggle because the system automatic automatically creates struggle for people. For the last years, I've been having I think I've been having five past Taekwondo students that have been coming back to me and getting in touch on in different ways, just because they have been struggling, especially with school. So they have been coming back and they uh, tell me that they basically didn't make it. They kind of feel some kind of guilt and shame because they couldn't make it. And that kind of pisses me off too. Because that says a lot to me about how the system works. And I tell them that they should simply just fuck the system. Elegantly fuck the system. Leave it. And uh, take control. Approach with a new mindset, approach your life with a mindset of self-mastery so that you can take control of your daily habits, your flow of thoughts and your path, uh, the path in your life from now on. Don't let your parents or teachers or elder people that are still stuck in the old system dictate what you're supposed to do and, um, and guide your life with no idea about how the new world and new system and all the changes that's going on is influencing our planet and your, our life right now. It's basically seven steps. So that's why I wrote the ebook called The Seven Steps to Self Mastery. So if you wanna learn those seven steps and be more in control of your life, um, jump over to my website. I should probably add a link to this description below the video window here. So you can simply and elegantly and conveniently navigate your mouse down to that link, click it, open another browser window, and go and download that ebook and enlighten yourself. It's free stuff, it's something I wrote. Make a note that this ebook is unedited, it's an unedited version, so you may go ahead and read it and have a good time laughing about all my misspellings. Uh, but the message in this ebook uh, is still the same. And um, so go and read it. Let me know how that goes for you and see if you can start to make some changes to your life and, uh, and take control of the current circumstances that you are in right now. Heading back out to the guys, continuing some shots for um, for this documentary. Everything starts with your mind. Um, I would say first of all, everything starts with your spirit, because spirit spirit is what you are, right? And then it's the mind, your mindset, the programming that you stuff into your brain. That's the second part. That's what you need to train and mold and shape to your benefit. I'm not wearing a seatbelt. Call the cops. Hurry, I'm there in two minutes. Call the cops. <laughs> so, so the mindset, based on the spiritual uh, understanding you have about life, will shape your reality. 
So when I talk about self mastery, I also include a lot of insights and, and you know deep work on spirituality because um, everything is spirit. God damn. So body, mind, and spirit. Everything is spirit. Uh, you shape your own mind and mindset and beliefs. So based on that, you will create your own reality. So here it is.